my videos if you're a current subscriber if not then welcome to my channel so today i have a really 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 exciting video for you guys it's going to be pretty similar to my previous hamster related video where i unboxed a pet parcel and i spot cleaned one of my hamster cages anyways let's get on to this parcel this was sent to me by a company called dainty paws i'm really good friends with the owner um i don't remember how we started talking but we have been friends for a good couple of months now the owner is super super lovely she's so sweet we just have a lot in common we both love animals we both love harry potter we're both hufflepuffs we have similar hobbies and interests i'm going to give you a little bit of information about the company dainty paws you can find them on the instagram i will have that link down below in the description as well as their shop so they actually make handmade hammocks for small animals and i just think that is so amazing i've seen some of her work on instagram as you can see it's bubble wrap which is good so everything's nice and protected a little envelope with my name on it and her writing is so cute and at the back it has her little logo which is a hamster packaged so well oh my god this just fell out that is so pretty whatever it is okay i'm not going to touch it so it just has my name and that is so cute oh my god that is so sweet and how is your writing so neat so i'm going to be keeping this because whenever people send me notes i always keep them. it says 10 percent off your followers can get 10 percent off using the code malika 10 at checkout um so i'll have this listed down below and it expires on the 7th of the 9th of this year so be sure to use this discount code and then there's some instructions here this is just a really nice informative sheet i'm really excited I'm going to open this one first. I really don't want to destroy the beautiful wrapping, but I have to. Wow, oh my god, it just looks so good. Look how amazing that looks. <gasps> wow, I hope I don't ruin this with like any like makeup on my hand. So this is what the corner hammock looks like. This is so adorable. I love the pattern on this. I've seen this on her products on Instagram um, and I've always liked it the way she's got the um, company name on it. That is so cute. I love that. And this is the back. It's so soft. Such good materials. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, Millie. This is amazing. <gasps> I wasn't expecting anything like this and I can't believe she like makes these herself. That is incredible. So on each corner, like the little hook so you can attach it to the cage i did say to her with the two cages i have it is a little bit difficult to attach hanging things but i'm going to find a way to make these work so i've just double checked the names of everything so this one is called a corner hammock and it is three pound fifty this one which i thought was the square hammock it's not is called the double hammock and this one is seven pounds fifty i'm gonna go on to this one next which is like a sort of uh green one and it's got like trees and stuff i thought this one would look great with a natural theme this print is so cute it is so adorable and on the back it's got this um brown fabric and this stuff is super soft and i just love the stitching on this it's so professional and i wonder why it takes us so long to make these and this one is called the square hammer and they are four pound fifty each can't even see any flaws in the stitching nothing the fabric is so clean this one okay so this oh she sent me a rectangular one as well okay so this is what the rectangular hammock looks like this is so beautiful so this one is uh pink with little bows on it this hammock would be five pound fifty and oh my god i'm loving this print and then she's just sent me another one of these uh square hammock i believe these are all the different shaped hammocks she does and oh my god millie these are absolutely amazing and you didn't even have to send me this many thank you so much this is like the most adorable package i've ever received in my life and i'm going to be taking so many pictures of these and posting them all over my instagram because they're just so photogenic and i can't wait to like try these out with my hamsters i'm gonna try and find a way to pop these in the cage i'm determined because i really 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 want to use these just looked in cupcake's cage and i've just seen her sitting like this so here's an overview of everything that i got sent so i really like the look of this one this would look great in cupcake's cage i'm gonna give you guys an idea of what this would look like inside the cage um but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a whole separate video at some point um showing you how these look inside the cages um i'm gonna have to modify them slightly because obviously the cages i have they don't have any bars on them i'm gonna get some uh, chain so I can attach them to each part so this can be placed lower down in the cage and then cupcake can go in there and it can be hanging off the bars on either side of her cage let me just put it in there so I can show you guys what I mean but I could put it like somewhere here because as you can see the detail has these bars here's the sheet that tells you how to like take care of it 
Um, I've got the two business cards. And lastly, the adorable Harry Potter keychain that she put in there especially for me, which I highly appreciate this. Thank you so much for this, Millie. I think this is one of my favorite keychains I'm going to add to my collection. So I've just finished taking some pictures of these hammocks for Instagram. So I was thinking maybe in this drawer, um, I'll have to make some space though. Um, just try and move these. There we go, here's all the beautiful hammocks. Um, perfect place for that. So here's Kashima's cage that I'm going to be spot cleaning. It is pretty messy. It's kind of like all over the place. I need to clean out her sand dishes. She has two because she absolutely loves sand. She rolls in it and she pees in it and like she just loves using sand. So that's why she's got two. Um, her sister Cupcake is not really a big fan of it. She has two food dishes which is kind of unnecessary because I only really fill up this one, I'm going to scoop out each of the corners because I'm not too sure where she's weeing. I think it's in this corner she likes to wee and she often likes to wee in this hippo which I did wash out a couple of days ago and she hasn't weed in it again which is good. I think at the moment she is sleeping underneath this wooden hideaway. This is from Pets at Home. I think she's sleeping underneath it. I don't think she's in it. Basically filled with a lot of poo. She poos in there which is a good thing because then it's all in one place. I'm going to empty all of this out and she does like to sleep in this little um, hideaway as well i think it's so cute a lot of people ask me where i got this from i got it like years ago of amazon and i don't actually think they sell it anymore it was really overpriced it was like 13 pounds absolutely ridiculous but it's super cute pretty chilled at the moment because she's just woken up which is good because i'm about to start sorting out her cage so i've just got my tripod set up i've got some sand down there so if you're wondering what sand i'm using i did mention it in my previous video but in case you didn't watch it um i used a tiny friend's farm chinchilla bathing sand off you go back in your cage so what i'm going to do first is just clean out this spot here because I believe in that area is where she pees. So I've just got some of these nappy bags. My sister gave these to me ages ago. She gave me like a whole pack of them. Um, and I've got quite a few left. So what I like to do is I just turn the bag like inside out. So I like put my hand in it like this. So let's just move this. Um, and then what I like to do is I just use it to grab like bits of bedding that I feel have like pee in it or something. So then that way I don't have to touch it. cleaning Kashmir's cage and she's having a lot of fun on that wheel um so as you can see I've just changed it up a little bit uh I took out a few items so these are the items I decided to take out and I'm going to be putting them away um so I decided that I'm going to keep the other hamster dish in instead of this one um because I always tend to go for this one it's super cute I have this one on my website it's one of the most popular items so everything else is pretty much the same other than the wheel so I can't remember what this wheel is called I think it's the flying saucer or something and this is the smallest size that they do so this is the bedding i like to use you can find this on my website it's called the tiny hamster paws small pet bedding <laughs> completely forgot I left my camera recording but I just watched a clip and it looks so cute so I'm just going to keep it in there anyway. Let me just take my camera off my tripod. I do need to sort out their food. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to give them. I might just give them like a combination of their actual food, the JR farm and the science selective pellets and I might also give them some of these mixes which you guys would have seen I got in my previous video. I'm just in the middle of editing this video um, and I thought I would just quickly update you guys because I have two things that I want to mention. Um, so the clip you will be seeing after this of me ending the vlog, I did film it like a couple of days ago when I actually filmed this video. Um, but I just had some stuff that I wanted to add in. Um, so a couple of days ago I did give Kashmir um, the flying saucer, you would have seen it in the video. Um, it's actually too small for her and I think she's been peeing on it. 
not entirely sure no i don't think she has it's actually too small for a dwarf hamster i get the bigger size which is like seven and a half inches this one is uh, like five inches i think um i did get this wheel back in 2016 before i even had dwarfs and i had only used that wheel once when i first got them and they were a lot smaller but now that i've seen her like actually running on it um it does seem a little bit too small so i'm gonna get a bigger wheel for her the thing which is super exciting um as you guys know i used to do monthly hamster boxes um and then i started doing them seasonally and it got really confusing it was confusing for me it was confusing for you guys started doing them seasonally because i was just really busy with college and then at the time i thought it would be a great idea for charlie to help me with the boxes so he would pack them and i would deal with all the other orders for the shop um but then it just got really complicated and really confusing um so we've just decided it's best for me to just do the boxes myself but you can actually purchase the september box on my website now there was only a couple on there but obviously when it actually gets to um like early september i will have a lot more boxes available and then i'll do one for october and november and then obviously i'll have my usual christmas boxes in december which i'm super excited about and i am going to be stocking christmas items on my website this year and i'm just really looking forward to christmas so i am going to be showing you guys all the items in the september box so if you want it to be a surprise then just skip the video for a couple of minutes or you can just stop watching here because i'm just going to be showing products in this box for the rest of this video and then I'm basically gonna have a clip of me talking for like 10 seconds ending it. Right, so here's the box. Um, it's gonna look something like this. This box is a little bit smaller compared to um, the boxes that I normally do because this box has like small items in there. If you're wondering how much my boxes are, they are 20 pounds each and I do ship internationally. Most of my customers are from the UK and the US, um, but I do ship to all countries. Um, just be sure to select the right shipping option at checkout anyways this is what the box will look like it will have a really cute paw print sticker and then inside will be bubble wrap tissue paper and no and all of that uh, i would say the theme for this box because i normally do themes a lot of the time the theme for this box is basically some of my favorite hamster products products that i really like to give to my hamsters and products my hamsters really like the first thing i have to show you guys um are the board and breaker woody's play carrots so you get six of these in a pack um my hamsters really really like these two syrian hamsters oreo and isabella they used to love these especially the sizzle stuff at the top um they weren't massive chewers but they always loved chewing on this and the bottom would be all like chewed up and stuff um my dwarves they don't really chew anything to be honest cashmere chews things she's not so supposed to chew um but cupcake she doesn't chew anything so the next product here is the ever so famous um rainbow bridge so this is also by board and breaker as you can see a lot of my favorite products are by board and breaker um so this is the rainbow plate bridge many people have these i've repurchased um these bridges a few times because for some reason my hamsters like to chew them and they get ruined and then they don't look so nice so here's an example of the one that i gave to a uh, cashmere as you can see she really enjoyed chewing that um so like i said the stuff that i want her to chew she doesn't chew and the things i really don't want her to chew she has a good nibble on it i've already got a backup anyway so next we have the board and breaker woody's uh caterpillar this is another super cute toy my syrian isabella she used to love these the good thing about this if you have any sizzle you can actually just put it back together again um that's what i used to do i don't know if i still got that one though what you need to do is thread a bit of sizzle through and tie it on either end it's just one of those really great chews that you can reuse even if your hamster doesn't chew it it looks super cute and i really liked using this when i did like a purple and green theme i find you get a lot of green and purple hamster items so it's always fun to make a theme with them so next we have the boredom breaker play and climb kit this is a favorite among hamster owners these are super cute and they do come in a few different um styles um i think i have maybe one or two of these myself um you just put the pieces together and it's like a little climbing break the last thing in the box we have are these rotor stack yogurt drops and what hamster doesn't like yogurt drops? there will be one more item in the box and that will be a product from um my shop so it's going to be a tiny hamster boards product um i'm not entirely sure what it's going to be just yet 
so i'm going to end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you did give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below i feel like this vlog is kind of like all over the place um but it was really fun and i hope you guys found it fun as well if you have any video suggestions then please let me know in the comments one of my upcoming videos will be of me talking about all my filming equipment if you have any questions you would like me to sort of um answer or go over in that video regarding how i film my um videos what equipment i use what camera i use all that kind of stuff if you have any questions regarding that then please let me know and i'll be sure to mention it in that video um but i think that's all i have to say don't forget to follow me on my social medias i'll have them linked in the description and also don't forget to check out dainty paw goodbye for now guys and i'll see you in my next video